Guys, I've got a request to do a video on Eubank Jr. versus Nick Blackwell. Uh, let me give you my thoughts. I've been very, very critical of Chris Eubank Jr. historically on this channel. Um, I actually view Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, in a similar light to how I view Anthony Joshua. Immensely likeable, extremely charismatic, a huge sort of personality inside and outside of the ring. And... Someone clearly capable of capturing the imagination of the boxing fan. However, um, like I believe Anthony Joshua has been, Chris Eubank Jr. for me was rust too early on in his career. And after knocking out a selection of cab drivers and tomato cans, was stuck in against a world-class fighter against Billy Joe Saunders, who for me completely exposed him. Don't get me wrong. Billy Joe Saunders is very, very good. And Chris Eubank Jr. showed a lot of heart, a lot of skill, a lot of class and a lot of heart to stay in that fight and to make it as competitive as he did. But let's be honest, um, in that fight, you know, people can make excuses for him saying he started slow because of X, Y and Z. The truth is, he was getting his ears boxed off. You know, Billy Joe Saunders outclassed him in every department and then Billy Joe Saunders, due to his lack of discipline outside the ring and of commissioning, uh, and lack of conditioning, started the gas and Eubank Jr. was able to win some of the late rounds, uh, which made it a lot closer on the scorecards. But really, if we're honest, Billy Joe Saunders completely outboxed him. Billy Joe made him look inaccurate early on. Billy Joe was able to hit him every time he threw a jab. You know, Chris Eubank Jr. was... Very, very defensively inept, very, very open, and uh, you know was largely outboxed. And for me, one of the main criticisms of Chris Eubank Jr. in the lead up to fight to that fight was the low caliber of opposition he'd been in with, and the fact that he hadn't been in fights that taught him the necessary lessons. And this is why I'm raising that consistent issue with Anthony Joshua now he's fighting for a world title. You know, consistently on the lead up to that fight, I was saying. Who are the best three opponents Chris Eubank Jr. has beaten? You know, And uh, for me, that lack of quality learning fights really stuck out. You know, He looked inexperienced. He looked green in that fight with Billy Joe Saunders. Whereas Billy Joe, who'd fought the likes of Nick, Nick Blackwell, John Ryder, Spike O'Sullivan, showed the benefit of all of those tough 12-rounders, the experience he'd gained. And the fact he'd been 12 rounds time and time again probably helped him stay in late in that fight. You know, now Chris Eubank Jr. is taking a fight in Nick Blackwell, um, coming off a Spike O'Sullivan win. And let's say the public has given him wide-scale criticism for taking this fight and not fighting a Saunders or a Golovkin or a Danny Jacobs. Let me say I applaud him for taking this fight. You know, um, This is a very sensible fight for Chris Eubank Jr. to take. It's exactly the right kind of fight for him to be taking. And it's the kind of fight which, for me, represents a definite step up. You know, Nick Blackwell is a league above Spike O'Sullivan, in my opinion. But at the same time, it is a real good learning fight that is going to help develop him and give him that experience as he tries to move towards world level. For me, it's actually a good fight. It's an interesting fight. I'm very much looking forward to it. I think it's a competitive fight. Um... Clearly, Chris Eubank Jr. is the favourite to win, and he's someone who I would pick to win. But for me, Nick Blackwell is a formidable opponent. Blackwell is durable. He has excellent stamina, conditioning, fitness. He can fight three minutes of every round. Uh, he's also an underrated boxer. For me, uh, Nick Blackwell is clearly a classier boxer than the likes of Spike O'Sullivan. And for me, that could be Eubank's kryptonite, because as tough as Eubank is, as high output as he is, you know, there's some debate over his punching power, but for me, Nick Blackwell has, he, he'd be in between a Billy Joe Saunders and a Spike O'Sullivan when it comes to things like foot movement, footwork, uh, punch selection, long range boxing capability. You know, for me, Blackwell is a, a real good sort of British level fighter. He can box, he can fight a bit in close, very, very fit, very tough guy. And as I've often said on my channel, Chris Eubank Jr., he's a hurtful puncher. He punches with spite and with bad intent. But for me, he's not a brutal one-punch knockout artist. And Nick Blackwell is extremely fit, extremely well-conditioned. And I do think Nick Blackwell can um, make Eubank Jr. look bad in this fight. You know, I don't necessarily, for what it's worth, think... Uh, that Eubank Jr. is 
under threat of losing this fight. I think Eubank Jr. offensively probably has too much for Blackwell. And I don't think Blackwell has the, the calibre of offence to win enough rounds to beat Eubank Jr. But I think Blackwell has the capacity to make Eubank look quite bad in this fight. And with that, I think Eubank Jr. has the potential to learn a lot, which will be key for his development. Because since that Billy Joe Saunders fight, Eubank has improved a lot. You know, he's clearly a better fighter now than when he stepped into the ring with Billy Joe Saunders. But my concern with Chris Eubank Jr. has always been, yes, he's improved, but has he improved in the right areas? You know, Eubank's clearly a good body puncher. He's, uh, he puts punches together nicely. He throws a lovely uppercut. He throws a lovely short hook. Um, he's an athlete. He's explosive. But my concerns are not, has he improved in the areas that he was always good at? It's, has he improved in the areas that he was bad at? You know, and I'll give him credit, you know, he was not very good at utilising the jab. He's become better at that. His jab is snappier, better. Uh, his movement is a bit better. But I still have concerns about inaccuracy. And most importantly, I still have concerns about defence. You know, he destroyed Spike O'Sullivan, whereas Billy Joe Saunders outclassed him over 12. But what you'll notice if you watch the Billy Joe Saunders fight, and I was at that fight, is that Spike couldn't land a glove on Billy Joe Saunders. Whereas Spike was able to land hard haymakers on Eubank Jr.'s chin. And Spike, let's be honest, he's a, he's a credible opponent, but he isn't the most uh, slick technician. He's a bit of a brawler mauler type, you know. So the fact he was able to land such wide looping punches on Eubank's chin on several occasions suggested to me that whilst Eubank Jr. has improved, He's maybe improved in the sort of offensive wrecking ball way that we always knew he was good at. And he still hasn't improved in terms of the areas that he needed to. For me, accuracy and most importantly, defence. And for me, Blackwell um, does have the potential. As I say, I don't think Blackwell beats Eubank Jr. But he does have the potential to make Eubank Jr. look bad. You know, Blackwell's jab is far superior to Spike's. His movement is far superior to Spike's. Uh, I think Blackwell is going to be hitting you, Bank. I think Blackwell is going to be showing how easy it is to hit Chris Eubank. And the other thing is, I think Eubank is, um, you know, I made videos in the past where I talk about him constantly hitting a wall bag. And I saw a video of him today knocking out a stationary sparring partner. You know, Chris Eubank Jr. is very good. If you can stand in front, if he can stand in front of you, set his feet and get off hard punches where he's got time to wind it up. I think he's less good when he's having to float round a ring, you know, jabbing at the same time, throwing combinations, you know, punching on the move. And I think Blackwell's going to make him punch on the move. Um, you know, Blackwell isn't the biggest middleweight, he isn't the classiest middleweight, but he's tough, fit, well-conditioned and very durable. I'm not sure the Eubank Jr. punching power is going to be able to get rid of Nick Blackwell at all. Uh, I'm really not. I mean, the Eubank Jr. punching power, for me, is very, very overrated. Um, you know, I remember the fights pre the Billy Joe Saunders fight, and he does land very eye-catching punches. But opponents were going the distance, opponents were getting stopped on their feet, you know, and he was fighting guys who were a weight class or two below him. You know, since then, Saunders went 12, Ustinov, uh, not Ustinov, Chudinov went to the 12th round. Uh, even Spike O'Sullivan, you know, Spike was beaten up, but he wasn't ever close to getting knocked out in that fight, was he? He was uh, withdrawn due to the nature of the beating, but I don't think Eubank's going to be able to lay a beating on on Blackwell, because I just think Blackwell's more sophisticated, so I'm not surprised if this at all goes 12 rounds, I'm not, and whilst I don't expect Blackwell to win multiple rounds, you know, don't get me wrong, Blackwell could win three or four rounds, but I don't think Blackwell's going to win the fight on rounds, but I do think the rounds are going to be more competitive. I think Eubank will find it harder to uh, to land his eye-catching work on a moving target. I think Blackwell's jab is going to be constantly catching Eubank. Uh, and I expect this fight to show that Eubank's still got a lot to work on. You know, I applaud him for taking the fight. I think it's a great learning fight. And I think, you know, this is the kind of fight, along with the Spike O'Sullivan fight, he needs to be taken at this stage of his career. Um, you know, uh, I think these are the, the right kind of fights for him at this level, no need to rush him, and perhaps if he can show that he's able of dominating the likes of a, a Nick Blackwell, maybe a John Ryder, someone of that nature, uh, maybe he is ready for the next step up, but in my opinion, 
Blackwell, very respectable operator for this level. I don't think he's going to have enough to beat Eubank. I don't think defensively he's quite slick enough. And I don't think offensively he's got the strength to his work to, to score enough points against Eubank. But expect him to make Eubank look bad. This will go late for me. It won't be an early stoppage. It will either go late. I, my prediction is Eubank to win on points. Probably 8 rounds to 4, 9 rounds to 3. Something of that nature. Uh, and I think this fight will leave us with more questions than answers on Eubank. Particularly relating to his accuracy. Expect wild inaccuracy at times. And uh, I also think he'll be hit a lot in this fight. I don't think he'll be hurt in the fight. But I think he'll be hit a lot and eat a lot of jabs. Um, regardless, a good learning fight for him. And this is the fight that he will need to uh, help him improve in the areas he needs to improve in. Let me know your thoughts. How do you see the fight going? Do you disagree with me? Will you back win by knockout? Will Blackwell win? You know, let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button. Please press the subscribe button. Stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching.